In the days that still live in our stories, millions of buffalo moved across North America. By 1890, the buffalo numbered less than 300. We still have the songs, we have the ceremonies, but there's no buffalo to be seen. We need to bring that buffalo back. Buffalo is our relative, the one we learn from, the one that cares for us. The buffalo were our original teachers, and what happened in colonization is someone took this big cup and like spread those teachings out, and we have to go around and pick them up. It's an uphill job. We will need partners. The nations, we all need to help each other. Our goal is to put them on federal lands, national parks, reserves. The vision was always that we would release them to be free roaming. They should never be fenced because of them people coming out here and experience the animals themselves. That's pretty potent stuff. It's just indescribable kind of things that happen with these buffalo. It's metaphysical, it's beyond our understanding. Buffalo restoration can be reconciliation. When we reintroduce buffalo back into the environment, what happens is the revitalization of that ecosystem. Buffalo become climate change fighters. It's such a big effort amongst a lot of different people working together to ensure that this will be their place for eternity. The buffalo never left. It's us humans that have to come back to the relationship with the buffalo.